So we've just arrived at Leeds now. We've literally just got off the train and we run to go to the toilet and then we're going to go and try and find our hotel and put our suitcase there and then we will try and find somewhere to eat or something because it's like half 11 so it's it's getting up to dinner time now and i am hungry the train journey was so quick it's only an hour you no know, like runs and then we just got a drink on the train and i edited a video so yeah but I made friends with this little baby on the seat that opposite, like literally directly opposite on us. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna explore. It's freezing. I wish I had packed more clothes because I'm so cold. But what can you do? But hopefully, we can find a nice cafe and our hotel, and we're gonna drop our bags off in the store. So, we've arrived at the hotel. It's just got a little toilet in there. Nice little. Ooh, that shower's massive, Mum. Yeah. Massive. Massive shower. Ooh, that mirror is nice. Get that good lighting. Oh, is it a separate toilet? Yeah, toilet's in that one. It's got like a little wardrobe. Oh, you've got an ironing board and an iron. I mean, not that I'm going to use it, but. Got some tea and coffee. Got a nice big bed. It's a bit hard though. I just did a jump on it and it was a bit hard. And then a sofa which mum can sleep on when she's uh, when, she, when she's in the doghouse. Got a big mirror, TV. Oh, mum, we can have our tunes on. There's a speaker <laughs> and then this is the view out the window. I can't even figure out how to open the curtains, Mum. There. It's got a, just a view. We're opposite of Premier Inn. Oh, oh, there's a riverside bit down there. There's yeah. a like the river quay side, I think it was called. Hmm. First stop for some food. Mum's gone for a foisin wrap and I've gone for a Swedish meatball hot wrap. Yummy! trying on some clothes in Primark and it's this dress which is really cute. I've got this boiler suit which looks cute. I like this one. It's a yes from me. so far it's the rhubarb and custard mm. french vanilla and white chocolate
So we've just come for a pit stop of something to drink and we had something to eat as well at the shopping. Um, we come into 200 Degrees Cafe which we've just got one in Lincoln so it's like the first time I've ever been in one here in Leeds so we've come into it and yeah it's really nice like quirky and edgy. Me and Mum just shared a blueberry and lemon curd muffin. It was so good. For animal. Put it. Oh. Probably a lot of money. Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Ooh, that one's nice. Thank you, James. You are welcome. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my darling. Sorry, I don't want to so we're now just in mango mum's just trying on some jeans and we've had a successful shop we've got a few things um i think we're just walking back through trinity and then i think we're gonna go back to the hotel and just chill out for a bit before we decide where we're gonna eat so yeah but it's been a nice day it's been lovely to spend some time with mum because like when we're at home we don't get to spend that much time together so we've just come into the hotel and we've decided to make use of their two for ten pound cocktails so we've both gone for a raspberry mojito go on then let's let's try it's gonna be a dream let's try it that's nice it's going all down my legs, but yeah. Mm, Got ready to go out for a meal. We're going to some sort of like Thai, Chinese. We've been told it's like street food sort of thing. It's like literally directly opposite the hotel, so that's good. And I'm just wearing this top from Primark. Um, these trousers are actually from Primark too. And then my Topshop um, boots. And yeah, I've got this cute little hair tie thing in that I thought just makes my outfit look like I put in a bit more effort when I really haven't. So this is what the mod cafe is like. Hi there. Hi, yeah. Anything with a little RH on it is two for one. Okay. Um, 
when you want to order food, you just write it on the back of this card. Uh, oh. You've got a little pen in your pot, and you just need to write down the numbers that are on the menu. Just the numbers. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Pop that up, we'll get your food order. If you're fancy in dessert, there's a few bits in the back of this card. Oh, so pop that up. <laughs> Then uh, when you want to leave, you just pop that one up, we'll get you the bill. Wow, okay, excellent. Very good. Good at Steve, that's really hard for me to read. We've just ordered our food. They do it in a really quirky way here. So you just literally mark down the number and pin it up there. And they will come and take your order. So it's a really good way of doing it. And it was the same with the drinks as well, wasn't it? And then you just put that one up when you want to go. I think it's a really cool idea. Really quirky and got lights and graffiti and stuff. Oh, oh that's satay and then um, is that sweet chicken? Noodles and black bean. Mm. We've just checked out of the hotel. We're leaving our suitcase here so we can go like around the shops and stuff and not have to take it with us because we brought quite a lot yesterday. So it's really, really, really heavy. So we're leaving that here and then we're gonna go try and find this market. It's oh, got, yeah, got it on you. <laughs> well, if we just head back to like the shopping area, I think it's down there. Yes, yeah, so there's a market with like little food stalls, little clothes stalls. I don't know really what else is there, but we're just gonna go have a mooch and then just go around like the shops and do a bit of last minute shopping. We'll probably get something to eat as well. And then we'll head back for our train at, our train's at quarter past three. So we'll head back for that. And I think we've got, we've got to get off at Doncaster and switch trains on the way back, so. Fingers crossed we don't get lost. Chicken katsu curry, it's got kale in there. Mum's 
come to chicken in a box with it. Good evening guys, we are now back home at last and you know when you start doing something and you just can't stop It's been one of those. I've sorted out all my skincare, all my like getting rid of plastic boxes and stuff Yeah, basically <laughs> But I thought I would quickly show you what I got. So today I got a little something from Neon it's the essential oil brand that I really like for anxiety. I really like their scent to de-stress. And when I saw there was a Neom shop, I just had to go in. Oil. So I've been using their scent to de-stress rollerball oil for so long. So I thought I'd pick up the full size so I can actually put it in my diffuser. A present for Luke, I got him some fudge this was chocolate and orange and it was so nice we tried some at the market so yeah got him some of that So my bath is now ready. I've used a bath bomb from, it's from Boots. It's the Miss Patisserie range and I've used a clearing one. It's got peppermint, eucalyptus and sea salt in it. And I'm just adding some more cold because I put my foot in and it's fucking boiling. And I'm gonna use this face mask, so it's new. It's by Yes2, it's the charcoal detoxifying paper mask. And I'm gonna use that while I'm in the bath. Fish eyes. Keep them closed. Yeah. Uh, close. Is it food? Yeah. Oh, can't. Ooh, you need to. I can guess. Fudge. Don't know. Here it is, is it? Try it. Honestly, the flavour is amazing. Okay. I'm not holding you chewing me grab. Looks like cheese. <laughs> Secretly, it is. <laughs> Is that nice? Oh my god, that's well nice. <laughs> 